what's up everybody I want to go over this problem dealing with linear regression as you can see you have this equation right here there's a little hat on top of this y that's called y hat and that's the linear regression equation the least squares regression line so that line will actually go through all these points right in the middle um, this question is saying predict the median income of a region in which 30% of adults 25 years and older have at least a bachelor's degree. The so 25 years and older doesn't really matter much, but the 30%, that's the number that we're going to be using in this regression equation. So we're basically going to plug in 30 in for X here, and that will tell us the predicted what median income in a region in which 30% of the adults are 25 years and older. So 30 is like right here, so our predicted value should be somewhere around here, right? by round, I don't know, whatever this is, like 40,000 or something. So let's see, let's plug into this equation. Let's pull up Desmos. So we have 726.5 times 30 plus 13095. Okay, so that is 34,890 right there and that's it that's how you do the prediction you just plug it in 34,890 now one thing that was a little bit weird about that question is that I was using 30 because you know usually with 30% you'll be plugging in 0.3 the decimal but we didn't because in this question they were using percentages and not decimals on this x-axis you can see it's bachelor's percent so that's always an issue. Should you use percent or should you use decimal? Another interesting thing is that notice that we're using the regression equation to do the prediction. And also they gave the correlation coefficient. So when doing prediction, you only use the regression equation if there is a significant correlation. And we have the correlation coefficient. It's pretty high given that this data set is, has a big N value. Maybe it's 20, 30, I don't know. So for data sets this big, we know that the, the threshold, the critical value is somewhere like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 or something. So this, we know that this correlation coefficient is significant, but I wish we had N, the sample size N, so we could check out the correlation coefficients. In fact, I'll show you the correlation coefficients right now. So right here I have the critical values and look at how small they are for small n values the critical values are pretty high 99 percent, 95 87 right um but for bigger values like where we are we're kind of like way over here look at how small the threshold is 0.3 0 0.4 even for n equals like 20 it's 0.444 our correlation coefficient was like 0.78 right so it would be significant even if we had a data set, a sample size of seven. But once we get to a sample size of six, then it would no longer be significant. See that? So these are the critical values for correlation coefficient. So understanding that about those numbers and going back to the question. Another thing I wanted to point out is this point right here looks to be influential to me. So it's a shame that we can't plug this data in because they, they don't give us the data in this question. I don't see any data anywhere. Sometimes there's a little box here, you click it and you can actually look at the data. We can't. So we pretty much have to, they, they're kind of forcing us to use this regression line. But I'm thinking this 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 point is it looks influential to me. So if I think if we remove this point, this correlation coefficient is gonna go down. It may go down below the critical value. It might go down to like 0.4. Who knows, you never, you never know. I mean, this data does look a little correlated, so it may not be that influential because these points kind of form a line, but you never know. It's, it's, it's definitely buffing this up a little bit, this 0.7816. It may go down to 0.6 and still be significant. All right, let's go to part B now. In a particular region, 26.4% of adults 25 years and older have at least a bachelor's degree. Okay, so, 26.4%, so that's a little bit lower than the 30. The median income in this region is 29,000, got it. Is this income higher than what you would expect and why? All right, same idea on this one. 
So we're going to predict the income and compare it to what the income is. Because we know what the income is there. It's 29,041. That's what the income is in that region, this particular region. So for the for that region, we know that it's 26.4% of adults have at least a bachelor's degree. And we know that there the the median income is $29,000. So let's see if the prediction is higher or lower than we can answer this question. So to make the prediction, just plug in 26.4 in the same way we did the last one. Let's see. 26.4, so just go to 30 and change it. 26.4, press enter. Or really, you don't need to press enter, but here it is, 32,274.6, see that? 32,274.6, okay. That's higher, 32,000 is higher, so we're predicting 32,000, but people there are only making 29,000, they're making less, right? This is lower than the expected, because the expected income is 32,274.6, 32,000. 274.6 around to the nearest dollar so 275 that's it part c interpret the slope select the correct choice below and fill in the answer box to complete your choice the slope is 726.5 that means for every one percent increase in the percentage of people in the region that have a bachelor's degree the median income will go up by 726.5. That's the slope, 726.5. So for every percentage increase in adults having at least a bachelor's degree, the median income increases by, what was it, 726.5. There you go, that's that. Predicting the y-intercepts, notice that it says Explain why it does not make sense to interpret the y-intercept. Choose the correct answer. Oh, it's telling us that it does not make sense. Why does it not make sense? Because, let's see, explain why it does not make sense to interpret the y-intercept. 13,000. Something interesting that it's outside of the scope of the model is interesting too because as you look at this data, it goes from 20 to 4, 20 to 55. So really, who knows how it changes for lower percentages or greater. So we only have data in this region from 20 to 40 mainly and zero is outside of the scope. So which one? A Y value of zero an X value of zero is outside of the scope. Yeah. X axis. So yeah, that's bachelor's degrees is X axis. All right. Hope that helps.